Hey, Nob here, and today I'm going to be showing you a team setup for Chapter 10 that is extremely strong. And the reason why I call it a team setup is because actually uh, it is very effective for a number of different range carries. and It is not just a specific hero. Uh, so I'll be showing you that team setup here today. I'm going to be calling it the Exodia setup. <laughs> so you can imagine why I call it like that. It's pretty much if you have all the pieces together, it's pretty much unstoppable. All right, first, let's go over the heroes that we'll be using. It's pretty standard, right? Nothing special. It's going to be Hero Lock with a carry. Now, if you don't know what Hero Lock does, as always, I'll leave a link down in the description below so you can check that out. Uh, and for the carry, in this video, we'll be using Herang, uh, the newest hero in the game. Uh, he's actually really effective in PvP, but he actually is not great in PvE. He's actually really hard to make work in Chapter 10 specifically uh, because he actually lacks a lot of damage, even though he has the CCES issues killing the boss, basically. Uh, but in the Exo, setup that I've developed uh, it's actually possible uh, so I'll be showcasing the build here with Herang. The other heroes that I found that work with this Exodia build are Naria, Priya, Rahak, and lastly Mersel. I think Mersel is actually the best one for the Exodia build. Um, mainly range carries. It doesn't really work with melee carries uh, but yeah just experiment and let me know what you find out. All right, so for formation, we'll actually be using all six units on the field. So having said that, uh, hero levels actually matter. Uh, honestly, I can't say how beginner friendly this build is. Uh, so if you have a lower level account, hey, hey, try out this build and let me know your uh, results with it, right? And let me know in the comments below. But I can tell you which awakenings uh, matter a lot. So Herang Awakening, Lunar Awakening, Lily Awakening and Barger Awakening. Uh, Laika and Aberon's Awakening don't really matter too much. But yeah, higher hero levels, the better. All right, next, Relics, the most spicy topic. So we'll go over the right one first. We'll be going with a Banner of Militias, aka Banner, as you may know it. If you don't know what this does, the more heroes that you have on the field, the more damage reduction that you take. You'll get 4% damage reduction per hero. So that means that if you have 10 heroes on the field, you'll get the max 40% damage reduction. It's pretty good so for our other relic choice yes we'll be running the beginner altar of heroes relic uh, they actually buffed this recently uh, now it gives five points instead of four and this allows us to run two altars at max point so 15 15 and next topic is going to be altars so with that altar relic we'll be able to run 15 altar of heroes and 15 altar of greed uh, so a lot of econ and this will help us get 10 units on the field as fast as we can and highest tiers we can so the synergy is really good and uh, feel free also to use the altar of greed beginner relic uh, they're interchangeable uh, but yeah so we'll be running 15 altar of heroes and 15 altar of greed pretty crazy so let's get into a chapter 10 run and show you how this build works so chapter 10 phase 10 Let's do it. All right, so first round, uh, hero lock stuff, standard stuff, and then I'll book it. All right, so our goal here is to try to put as many units on the board as possible. There is a standard position, but I'll show you it as we go along. So the main goal is to expand to 10 and then trying to upkeep your unit tiers as much as possible. The main core of the Exodia comp is of course your carry, Bard, Alberon, and Lily. Uh, Lunaire also, but I don't have her right now, but those are the main core units. Uh, Laika is really good too, but it's not a make or break. For items, I throw armor on one main Lily, swords on one main Laika, and then for bows, put them on Bardry, and staffs, put them on Alberon.
All right, so we're gonna be expanding to our formation 10 and I won't go past formation 10. So now we have Exodia complete. This is pretty much what my final setup looks like. I don't change it for boss round at all. And at this point, pretty much you try to get as high tiers as possible and that's it. As mentioned for boss round, you simply don't change anything. And that is it. That is my Exodia setup for the newest hero, Herang. As I mentioned, this works for other range carries as well. And I think Mercil is the best for the Exodia setup. As a reminder, I'm still holding that giveaway on my hero tier list video that will be running until August 24th. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description below to check that out if you haven't already. And lastly, I know I say it many times, but thanks again for watching and supporting the channel. It means a lot and it actually keeps me going. But yeah, that's it. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.